It's time for another Keto Box opening on Two Crazy Ketos. And we'll try it all right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? My name is Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. Do you hear the noises that Tabitha yes. is making? Yes. Like, what is with her? No, stay there. Stay there. So, so what's going on, guys? This is the May Keto Box, and we've got... Your boy. We've, it's your boy. We've got Anthony with us. So if you're new to our channel, um, we do two box openings every month. We do a keto crate and then we do the keto box. Uh, and what we do with the keto boxes, instead of Rachel joining us, Anthony joins us and we try everything in the box. So this will kill my carbs for the entire day because if you haven't seen it, Rachel and I are doing a 20 total carb very, very like detailed macro tracking right now. And so I'm sure even taking one little bite of every single thing in here um, is going to mess up my day, but I am gonna stay under 20 total carbs. So the way we do this is we're gonna go through each thing in here. We will uh, try everything, let you know the nutrition, let you know how much it costs. Uh, if you are interested in a keto box, there's a link down below. You can also use the code 2 crazy ketos to get some money off of your very first box. Now I did open up the box already and I've got all the prices listed on the website because unfortunately Keto Box doesn't tell you how much everything is. They give you a little card so that you can like win a free box and they give you some discount codes. And what is this? Singing Pastures Rome Stick. So it's, oh, it's the nutrition information with a coupon code for that. So I'm gonna put my glasses on for this. So what do we got? This is a shake. It looks like it's a shake. It's a shake. MCT's from butter. Yeah. Okay. What do we need for this? I'm going to go water. get the stuff. Six to eight fluid ounces of water. Six to flu eight fluid ounces of water. Shake for 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see what's in this. So this is zone perfect. I've seen this before. We have not ever tried it. So let's see. The ingredients in this are butter, sodium cassinate, whey uh, primate, Less than 2% of natural flavors, stevia leaf extract, xanthan gum, and gum arabic. It's actually pretty decent ingredients. It's pretty much protein powder with some butter in it. So very similar to like keto chop, but it doesn't, it has the fat already. And uh, it's only 210 calories per serving. So it's not much of a meal. So this is Just vanilla one. frosting flavor. So let's see, you're supposed to add one packet to six to fl eight fluid ounces of water. I put a few ice cubes in there too. Shake for 30 seconds vigorously. Oh, you can also use a, nice. You can also use a cup of unsweetened nut milk. That smells good. Okay, so while you're doing that, there are five servings in this box. There's 210 calories per serving, 18 grams of fat, 12 grams of saturated fat, 200 grams of sodium, 10 total proteins, three total carbs, two grams of sugars. So it's three total carbs, three net carbs. The only thing is, is if it's powdered butter, they've got to be adding something to powder the butter. I'm, I'm curious what they're using. They're not telling you. Um, so it's 210 calories. Are you going to shake that up? The price on this, while you're doing that, is on Amazon. $54 for 20 packets. <laughs> so that's $2.70 oh, okay. uh, per packet, which I would say is not bad if it was gonna be a meal, but 210 calories isn't a meal. Like I look at something like, <laughs> are you having fun over there? Well, it says shake it for 30 seconds. I look at something like keto chow, and yes, you're gonna pay $4 a meal, but that's a full meal, like 500, 600 calories. Who's going first? You're going first? I'm gonna put this over here to get it kind of out of the shot. 
Oh, you're making me really want to try this now. Oh, God, no. Mmm. <coughs> oh! <coughs> oh, that's horrible! I mean, how much did you spill? Like, not much? Not much. Ew! Maybe, Ew! How much, did you add too much water? No, it said six to eight ounces of water. I, I, it said six to eight ounces of water. I put six to eight ounces of water. I feel like maybe you added too much. I didn't. No The way. eight ounce is right here. That's what I put. This is all foam in there. I didn't nope. put that much water in there. That's God, gross. That's awful. That's really that gross. Was bad. It's very watered that was down. Bad. It's very watered. Maybe if you did six ounces, I did eight ounces with the ice cubes. Yuck. They're obviously trying to imitate keto chow. And they're not working. Yeah. And I. I don't always drink keto chow, but I can tell you that. You like the that taste of keto I like chow. the taste of it, but I just don't like all the butter. But okay. That, don't, don't, get, don't get that. Don't get that? Okay. Yum butter keto. The ingredients in this are peanuts, coconut, erythritol, MCT powder, which is MCT oil and tapioca starch, macadamia nuts, pecans, almonds, pink Himalayan salt, and cinnamon. Okay, yeah, not for anything, but this... It's I was really... It, I, it was it, really hopeful. It does it smell good. like vanilla frosting. Okay, so anytime you get one of these things, you kind of got to knead them to mix up the oil. Anthony kind of learned that once. He tried a nut butter and he just squirted it without mixing it and got the oils. I don't understand why they're using MC2 oil powder when it's already a liquid. Why not just use a liquid and avoid the tapioca starch? Okay, so there's three servings in this pouch. Three? Three servings in a pouch. It looks like a snack. 170 calories per serving. A serving is two tablespoons. It is 15 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein, 8 total carbs, 3 grams of dietary fibers, 2 grams of sugar, alcohol. So it's 3 net carbs per serving. They are at least telling you if you eat the entire pouch, it's 520 calories. And it is 23 total carbs, 9 grams of fiber, 7 grams of erythritol. What is that? 16. So... Yeah, n nine total carbs, or nine net carbs if you eat the whole package. Where did you get the box? I always keep the box. Oh, okay. So this is the peanut flavor. Put it on this. I don't want it on my finger. I want to see it first. You're going to see it? I want to see it first. How are you going to eat it off of a paper towel? Just put some on and then I'll get some off it. Okay, you're good. It looks like peanut butter. It needs some more salt. It is a little bland, isn't it? It is a little bland. It's a little bland. I'm going to try a little bit more. Uh, it needs some more erythritol or it needs some more salt. It needs one of the two. Well, I don't want it sweet. It needs more salt. Yeah. It's not bad, though. No. It's not bad. Okay, price on this... $17 for three pouches. $17 for three pouches. So, okay, what's next? Okay, so we've got Keto Queen Creations. It's a baking mix, but I actually made it. Yeah, we get it. Okay, so you go get one. Uh, or just bring the whole tray. So this is a chocolate cake mix. I made it into cupcakes. It says you need three eggs, a half a cup of sour cream, and one cup of unsweetened milk, like almond or coconut milk, or water. Uh, the ingredients in this pouch are erythritol coconut flour, unsweetened cacao. If Rachel was here, she'd say cacao. Baking powder and baking soda. They are only giving you the nutrition facts for the dry mix, which would be 20 calories, one gram of fat, 17 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, 13 sugar alcohols. So one net carb per serving, one gram of protein. But they didn't rise very much. No. I filled the cupcake thing, so they kind of like collapsed. So this is what they, Time. they that. came out to bay. That's three of them. So one of these is 17 total carbs. So I can only have like a little tiny piece of this. 17 total carbs. It's 
not bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's it's a chocolate cake. Probably could have gone in longer, but we did have it in for 45 minutes. Is it cooked? It is cooked, not right? Really? I don't know. It's kind of like a little bit longer would have done. But it, the toothpick came out clean. It's kind of almost like a custardy yeah. kind of cake. It's not it's like, like a molten lava cake. Yeah, it's like a molten lava cake. Okay, so because they're using sour cream, I think that's what it is. Okay, so the price on this, are you ready? Yes. This pouch, which makes one cake or 12 cupcakes, $13. <clears throat> wow. Plus you need three eggs, a half a cup of sour cream, and a cup of milk. That's half of the hard stuff to get. Um, what are they putting in it? Don't buy this. The, I hate to say that, but I mean, we actually, we did one before where they had a cake and we actually have a recipe for it where we basically imitated it for like a quarter of the cost. I'll leave a link up there. But this is basically, you're paying $13 for a combination of erythritol, coconut flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, and baking soda. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for coconut flour and erythritol. Yeah. It's, it's not worth $13. Next up. Sugar alternative. Wonder Rose. What is Wonder Rose? A sweetener so amazing we had to call it Wonder Rose. Oh, Wondrous. Wondrous, right? No. Wondrous. Wondrous. Oh, yeah. Wondrous. So wait, do you have... Oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, Wondrous is the healthy, natural, sugar-free sweetener that tastes and bakes like sugar without any aftertaste. 75% fewer calories and gut-healthy probiotic, prebiotic fiber. It doesn't just taste good, it's also good for you. Great for diabetics, ketogenic dieters, and anyone watching their carbs and calories. Enjoy the sweetness of sugar without the guilt. So they actually even have like a little thing on the back. It says, a tea, if a recipe calls for a teaspoon of sugar, use a teaspoon plus of this plus a quarter of a teaspoon of water. Uh, a tablespoon is a tablespoon plus a half a teaspoon of water. So they have a little conversion thing on the back. The ingredients in this are the Wonderous, Wonderous Sugar Replacer, which is erythritol, non-GMO, soluble corn fiber, inulin, monk fruit, natural flavors. Um, it's a, There's a hundred servings in here. A serving size is one teaspoon, zero calorie, zero fat, zero protein, three total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber, two grams of erythritol, making it um, zero net carbs. Um, I'm not gonna try this because I, I just, there's no, it's just a sugar alternative. It's erythritol basically. It's erythritol mixed with some non-GMO soluble corn fiber to kind of take away the cooling effect and some monk fruit. And uh, price on this is $8 for a pound. That's actually That's about right. Bad. That's about right. But it's, it's, it's pretty much erythritol mixed with a little bit of inulin and yeah. some soluble corn fiber. <clears throat> I prefer to not have the fiber and just use regular erythritol. That's just my opinion now. I'll try it in a recipe though. Laguna Salt Company. Laguna. Laguna. <laughs> Laguna, Tuscan, Rosemary. <laughs> so they have um, like seasoned salts. They're like infused salts. Are you gonna read the ingredients? So what are you just gonna? Oh, oh you're gonna just try gonna try it. it. Okay. There aren't any ingredients. Oh, there, there must are. be ingredients. You're gonna spill that everywhere. It's closed. There is no ingredients. Okay. Yeah. I don't see any. Salt from Laguna Beach, Florida, or California. Don't use your teeth. It's not good. <laughs> Price on this: six dollars and forty-nine cents for this little jar. Six dollars. Six dollars and forty nine cents for this little jar. They have a bunch of different flavorings. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. There are ingredients right there. Oh, where? It's sea salt and rosemary. I could have told you that. That's good. That's pretty good. Honestly, I wouldn't buy this. I'd just buy red. I'd make it. I'd buy Redmond's and add some rosemary to it because basically it's sea salt. And oh, by the way, it's sea salt from Laguna Beach, California. I don't know if I want to be drinking the salt water that's coming that's from true. the Pacific Ocean right now. Um, but, and it's $6.49 for that little. That's not bad. That's expensive. I mean, I mean, no, it's expensive. I'm saying. $6.49? I'm saying. Uh, what do we got? Get rid of this. Oh, Love. you don't remember these? No, I don't. Love, Love good, good fat bars. Coconut macadamia. We had one of these in the keto crate. I don't remember it. 
Um, I'm going over the ingredient first. Yeah. Okay. So fats blend, dry roasted almonds, coconut, walnuts, macadamia nuts, sesame seeds, organic virgin coconut oil, medium ch chine, train chain chain triglycerides, soluble tapioca fiber, organic brown rice crisps, crisps, organic brown rice flour, glycerin, chia, sea salt, natural flavor, cinnamon, sunflower, tofurals, tofurals. Serving size is one bar. Um, the bar is 190 calories, 14 grams of fat, 3 grams of saturated fat, um, 15 total carbs, or 15, yeah, 15 total carbs, 11 grams of fiber, 1 gram of sugar, 0% added sugars, and that's it. So it's 4 net carbs per yeah. bar, 5 grams of protein. Yeah. Okay, these cost $27.99 for 12 bars. They're $2.33 a bar. Okay, so... They have a lot of fiber. We had this in the keto crate. I know what it tastes like, but I will take a little bite just for the sake of this video. And then I'll let Anthony take a good bite of it. You're scaring me. Where's the taste? <laughs> I don't see, I don't taste no taste. It has no sweetener at all no flavor but it's loaded with soluble fiber we can see it's like it's like a taffy bar i know and then and the nuts taste stale yeah the no. nuts taste stale okay well, whatever cinnamon syrup they put on it okay so here's the thing i don't know if you remember we had you try one during our christmas 12 days of keto where you came in and you tried a bar and we were like oh try this and you like spit it out same company we they improved. <laughs> well, it's a different kind of bar now. Now it's at least a nut bar, but it's not any good. And I, some people actually like it. Taste is subjective. I personally don't like yeah, them. Don't taste I them. haven't had anything from that company that I like. What do we got? I don't know. Pistachios. Pistachios. Do we have to try pistachios? I don't want a pistachio. Do I have to go over the ingredients for pistachios? It should just be pistachios. Pistachios and sea salt. Okay. Okay. Well, wait, wait. Like, Got to go over the nutrition. It's nuts. It's we well nutrition, 100 cal 30 calories for this whole bag, 10 grams of fat, uh, five grams of protein, six total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, four net carbs. Pistachios are not like the best nut on keto because they can be high in carb. I mean, this bag is four to net carbs, six total carbs. If you are gonna eat pistachios on keto, I highly suggest getting them like this in the shell to make it take taste take longer. Uh, those are actually pretty good price. They are on Amazon, fifteen sixty six for twenty four bags. So less than a dollar a bag. I haven't had a pistachio in forever. <laughs> God. Pick one that's already. I can't. I don't. There's one right oh, there that's okay. open. You want to know the secret to pistachios? When you have a little hole like that, you take another shell and you stick it in there, and then kind of turn. And now it'll open it up. Heck of good food. Heck of bars. Heck of bars, for me, they're hit or miss. Some of them have a really good flavor, and some of them are kind of bland. Jesus, this is the smallest font size. Here, I've you ever want, seen. let me read it. I got glasses. I can still read. Rachel and I have done a review of these. Um, so the ingredients in this are almonds, allulose. Whey protein isolate, soluble tapioca fiber, unsweetened chocolate, erythritol. Uh, cocoa butter, natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, and sea salt. There is 200 calories in this bar, 15 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein, 24 total carbohydrates, 7 grams of dietary fiber, 3 grams of sugar alcohol, which makes it 14 total carbs. But then there is 13 grams of allulose, making it one net carb per bar. And like I said, some of these, like they're hit or miss for me. Some of them are really good well, and some of them are not that great to me personally. Chocolate. This is chocolate chunk cookie dough. All right, I got a huge name because I love cookie dough. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, I'm gonna get a piece of that almond. If I'm gonna, ooh, look at the chocolate. I just want the piece of the almond. You can have the whole bar. Wow. Wow, it's just absolutely nothing. 
You, you taste something? It's very bland to me. I taste absolutely nothing. It's very bland to me. It's not very sweet to me at all. No. Not very sweet at all. Uh, Hecka bars are $38.99 for 12 $3.25 a bar, and if you've never bought from them, if you go onto their website, uh, there's always a 20% off coupon to sign up for their email, so that'll save you some money. And again, it's, a lot of people love them, some people don't like them. Hello? Hello? Hilo? I'm, I'm gonna say Hilo. Hilo Life. Hilo Life Super, super cheesy. cheesy. Crispy cheddar cheese and almonds. That kind of looks like it may be an imitation of Keto Farms, which Anthony loves Keto Farms. You eat those things up. Every time I put them in the truck, he eats up the whole bag of them. They're good. All right, so the ingredients are cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, salt, annatto, enzyme, cheese culture, almonds, cheddar cheese seasoning that has cheddar cheese powder, cultured milk, salt enzymes, buttermilk powder, non-fat dry milk, yeast extract, onion powder, natural flavor, cream powder, medium chain triglycerides, whey protein concentrate, disodium phosphate, garlic powder, spice, paprika extract, Extractatives that has color, um, sunflower oil, and that's it. The ingredients are pretty good till you get to the sunflower oil at the end. That's gonna yeah. be the big difference between this and Keto Farms, I think. So serving size is the whole package: 250 calories, 20 grams of fat, seven grams of saturated fat, um, five grams of total carbs, two grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, so, and then it's so three that net it's carbs. Three net carbs. Protein is 13 grams. Protein, yes. Protein's important. Okay. Crack them open. Okay, I see almonds. Wait. Do we have cheese? Wow, they really gave you a lot of cheese here. Well, hey, you know what? They're giving you at least, I'd rather have the almonds than the cheese, wouldn't you? I'd rather have the cheese. You'd rather have the cheese. Okay, so just like Keto Farms, it's got like a moon cheese and the almonds. I know which one is better. It's honestly a copycat, copycat of uh, oh, better. Keto Farms. Keto Farms is much better. I think yeah. it's much better anyway. Fourteen ninety four for six bags on their website. What are you gonna do? You put this all over the tablecloth now. Okay, now that we got Anthony's mess cleaned up a little bit, what's next? So is this the one. last one? Yes. Rome sticks. Pork for the planet. Oh, Singing Pastures is the company. Oh, where's the... They give us a card here. Oh, okay. And I did pull up their website because, again, we looked in the box so that I can pull up prices. They, in addition to this... Ooh, they sell charcuterie board meat. Yes. So they have... This is... What flavor is this one? Just pork? I think. Yeah, uncured they have... Bacon. A, yeah, they have a pork with uncured bacon. Then they have a pork with pineapple. They have a pork with jalapeno. They have a sampler pack. Then they have charcuterie of red wine salami, fennel salami, Spanish chorizo. It all looks really good. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you've got the ingredients on there. Wait, oh, before you open it up. You can do that. The ingredients in this are 100% pasture-raised pork, water, uncured bacon, which is pork belly and sea salt, Sea salt, organic dextrose from tapioca, used to initiate the fermentation. Okay, I'm under, I, I can get behind that. They're using the sugar for the fermentation. Uh, celery juice powder, organic black pepper, lactic acid starter culture, stuffed in a dye-free collagen casing with no nitrates and no nitrates added except for those naturally occurring in sea salt and celery juice powder. So the, sh the dextrose that they're using in there from the tapioca, you need something for fermenting. You need something for, you know, the bacteria to start eating away. So I can actually get behind that one. So a serving size is one stick. There's 100 calories, 9 grams of fat, 4 grams of protein, much higher in fat than protein, 0 total carbohydrates, 0 grams of dietary well, fiber. It's a bacon stick. I know that. But sometimes they're much higher in protein than fat. Can you help me? My son still needs help. You have a terrible too. I am not. I'm probably gonna take the whole stick. I don't know. What you do. I can eat this. There's no carbs in that. Dang, that's good. That is good. That is good. That is good. I'm gonna have to buy me some of these. 
That is really good. What are these? Sampler, you can get oh, yeah. two of each flavor. You can get the six sticks per pack. Oh yeah. So the 10 packs are $22.99 for 10 sticks. That is two dollars and what? 30 cents per stick, which is actually not bad. That's about the normal price of a good, and this is pasture-raised pork. Uh, the sampler pack, which is six sticks, is $15. I want to try the charcuterie. Charcuterie. $14. It doesn't tell you how, oh, wait, here it is. Uh, $14, but it doesn't tell you how much you're getting on there. But it looks really no, good. It, just... it doesn't say how much you're getting. Doesn't say how much. Well, it obviously looks like a decent amount. It's a decent amount according to looking at the picture, though. Oh, that's good. That is really good. So, well, that's going to be today's box. Honestly, kind of a bummer. Yeah. This was the best. The meat know. stick was awesome. This was pretty good. This was. That was okay. It's okay, but it's just, it's Keto Farms. The Hecka bar, I'm I'm just not a fan. I it's it's if you don't want a sweet bar, I guess it's a really good bar. It's very chewy, just not for me. This is really good, That's but good. I think it's expensive and it's just like sea salt from the Pacific. Let's give Ocean. this another shake, another try. Maybe maybe this got better. Maybe I got a little better over time. What if we double up the packet? Yeah, let's try that. If, if we did add too much water, doubling up the packet should help, right? It should, theoretically. Or it'll make it worse. <laughs> I don't know if it can do that at this point. I got pretty low expectations. I definitely want to try this. Try this in like a mug cake or something. <laughs> wow a whole extra packet i feel like it lost flavor <laughs> it lost flavor it lost flavor did it, it not did. it lost flavor it is less flavorful wow that is not good. Stick with keto chow. Yeah. Especially at $3 a package. <clears throat> well, that is going to be our video for today. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And again, make sure you hit the bell button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.